Hello, Mr. Mr. Ryan, are you right? Yeah. So, guess what, Alice? Circles. Well, irregular circles. Something. Blah, blah, blah. Eggs. Eggs? Okay, we've used the eggs. Oval. Ovals, okay. So, Lint. okay. These are actually balloons, okay? They don't look anything like balloons. Okay, well, okay, eggs, okay, eggs. So, we are given these uh, eggs mm. on the wall. Suppose that you just put the eggs, attach the eggs. No, you, you know, have to, the wall. then it has to, if you attach it to the wall, then yeah. it has to be fried egg. Okay, okay, something like that, yes. Uh, let's say, how about the balloons? You know, balloons are simple to Yeah, but they don't look anything like balloons. Okay. They look like... So you egg. only know the X coordinates, left and right, right? You only know, but you don't know the Y coordinates. Okay, so that, that doesn't matter. So. Yeah, coordinates. So look coordinates. at coordinate. Okay, look at these coordinates. Okay, you know what well, I'm talking. It's not coordinates. Co coordinates. Okay, zero one. Okay, so if we shoot, if we have this error, right? Error. Okay, if we have this error, you know, vertical errors. So let's say we have a vertical error here. Then if this error goes forever. Right from bottom to the top, and then you will uh, burst the balloons. Right, so look, burst the balloon. But if I have another arrow here, you'll burst this balloon. So the and question the is that and the balloon above it. That's good. Yeah, that's good observation. Yeah. So the question is, how many? What we want to find out the minimum number of arrows that can burst all the balloons. One, two, three. One, One two, three. Yes. Okay. Got it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, let's say we have an uh, unlimited number of uh, errors and then we are given a list of balloons, right? But we don't know the y coordinates, yes, actually. Please. We don't need to know the y coordinates. We just need to know the x boundary of a balloon. And they are regular circle, okay? They are regular circle. Like this. That one doesn't look nice. It's a bit thick. <laughs> Well, that's okay, but all we need to know is that the balloon of are placed, that. yeah, are placed on the on the wall, right? And then we want to find out the minimum number of the uh, arrows that could burst uh, all the balloons, right? And and you're saying there are three. How do you know it's three? Because I keep my brain. I check the ones above it. Yeah. So what's your strategy here? So you know, I'm just giving you. So what's your strategy? How do we know it's a uh, you know one two three? Yeah. I I just use my big small brain. Okay. The balloon will be bursted if look if this x i uh, x smaller than equal than this uh, right okay right and bigger than equal than this left okay if this the balloon x touching the left boundary or right boundary we count it as uh, bursted okay. And it could fall into any values between this range. Okay. So yeah, we're given have, a list. Does it have to be like zero and one? Can it be like zero point five? It doesn't matter because we are not we are not finding where we should put the error, right? We just want to know how many, right? So, but that's a good question. Like we can just put it any one, but only one is enough, right? Yeah. So we don't care which one. Where exactly we need to place the error? you just need one arrow. Why? Huh? No, just place this. The, the arrows no. will go. Uh, Look, arrow now. Oof. Boing. No, it doesn't redirect. Okay, okay. That's, a, that's okay. It doesn't redirect. Okay, it doesn't change the direction. It's just uh, uh, going straight up. Forever. Forever. It could uh, burst as many balloons as it can along the direction. Vertical up. Okay, so what's your strategy here? Any idea? Any idea? Well, if there are no balloons? No balloons, just written zero. Good question. That's a common case, yeah? No balloons given. N nothing. Zero. Can you get to see the balloons pop? Do you get to see the balloons popping? No. No. We just want to find out the minimum number. So, minimum Equals. number of errors to birth of balloon. Okay? This is the question. 
right? And then balloons, you, you are very clear, right? So we just launched the uh, vertical uh, arrows and then balloons. So when it touches, like, the side of a balloon, it'll burst? That's right, yes, yeah. So, oh. so it, this is the kind of question, remember, we talk about the interval thing, right? Is this kind of similar question, intervals? Finding the intersection of intervals, right? So we can visualize this, right? This is one interval, this is another interval, this is uh, another interval, right? And then another interval, uh, another interval, right? right? So we visualize as this, there are five intervals. Look, one, two, three, four, five. So we want to find out how many, right, connected, yeah? How many components, how many groups? So obviously by looking at it, we know that one, two, three, right? So three arrows, eh? all right? Yeah? Okay. To solve interval questions, one usual way is to solve them. Okay? To solve all the coordinates, solve the intervals. Okay? So once we sort it, we can go through this, right? So we can sort the intervals by the end point. Okay. So why do we need to sort the intervals by the end point, not the starting point? You, this is the question you need to think about. Okay. So look. Yeah, 0, 1, right, here, 2, 3, and then 3, 4, uh, this is 5, 7, and 5, 6, right? So we put the 5, 6 here, and then 5, 7, okay? Okay, okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 6, this is 7, okay? So now, let's just take the first interval. This is current n, which is equal to 1, right? And obviously, we need at least one arrow to burst the first balloon, right? So answer equals one, right? We check this one. We check if the... If this is smaller than that, if the end is smaller than the beginning of the next balloon, right? So we need one more arrow, right? All right? Yeah, because it's disjoint, right? Three, four. There's a balloon at two, three, and there's another balloon at three, four. Yeah, Okay, forget about that. No, no, that was a balloon. It's supposed to be that's supposed to be that balloon. Okay, but and anyway, just imagine this is the different example. Okay, so look, this end is smaller than the this the start of this balloon. So look, visually, they are separated. So we need to plus one, right? And as long as we plus one, we need to change this end to here. Because this covers up to this point. So the end will be 3. If 3 is smaller than 3, no, right? If it's not smaller than 3, if it's smaller than 3, we need one more arrow to burst this one. But if it's not smaller than 3, it means the current arrow to burst this one. Got it? Make sense? Okay, so what's next? This balloon. 5 and 6. Is 3 less than 5? Yes. Yeah. This arrow cannot burst this balloon, so we need to plus one. And then we change this n to current n, which is six. Okay, so now it changed to six. Now we, we check this one. Is six smaller than five? No. No, so it means that the last arrow burst this balloon. Make sense? <laughs> yeah? If it's smaller, look, if this, this is n, right? And this is the next one, a. This is one situation. If n is smaller than a, we need one more arrow to burst this balloon. And then, once we've done that, we need to move this n to here. Because that indicates the next arrow can cover up to this point. And then we just iterate it through the check. If n is not smaller than a, so look, this is n. It's not smaller than a, so a will be this way, right? Look, this is n, this is a. And it's not smaller than a. So what does it mean? The current error can burst this balloon. So we don't need one more error. Right? We can just jump to the next one. Make sense? This is kind of usual way we solve the interval question. Solve the intervals and then go in from the left to the right. We need to solve by the end point. So look, the end point means this one, this comes before left. Right? Another example is yeah, okay. So which comes first? Which comes first? Look, this is the one interval, this is another interval. We need to compare. We need to put the interval, the end point, 
right? The endpoint smaller. The the coordinate, the balloon with the smaller right before. So right? Got it? Because we are checking. We are checking. We need to move to a smaller right end instead of the bigger right end. Balloon dot sort. What's the time complexity for this one? If there are n balloons. Oh, n log n. Okay? O n log n. The space complexity usually O n log n as well. Okay, so now the n equals the first balloon. The first balloon, zero. The end point, right? Zero, one. Zero means the first one, the index. The one means the end point, the, the right boundary. Okay, so we have to also check if not balloon, then we return zero, right? If we are given zero balloons, then we will just return. Okay? And then, look, the answer, at least we need one error, right? For A, B in balloon, we start from the second balloon to the end, right? If n is smaller than a, if we need one more error, if the current error does not burst the next balloon, then answer plus equal one. Okay, and what's next? If the n is smaller than a, the current error does not burst the next balloon, we plus the answer, we need one more error, and n equals b, right? We jump to the right boundary of the next balloon, right? And then that's it. Return answer. This is the algorithm. Simple. Yeah. The key thing here is balloons dot sort. Is to sort it using the quick sort, right? Usually quick sort. And then this is the right boundary of the first balloon. And then answer equals one. And then we go through the balloons from the second one to the end. We can just go through from the start. We don't need this. And it still works. Why? Why is that? Because the end is the and right boundary of first balloon. On the first iteration, this never gets executed. Uh, it just wastes one cycle because n equals a. And the next one. So the key idea is that we saw the balloons, we saw the balloons by the right boundary. Okay, by the right boundary. Sort here, we need to sort by the right boundary. Look, by a, b, sort by this one. So key equals lambda x x1 okay this is very important okay we sorting the balloon by their right boundary not the left boundary and then we just have to check what's the furthest distance that the current error can burst the end this is indicated by n if n is smaller than a right it means the current error cannot reach the next balloon we need one more error mm -hmm. and then we move the current error to the right of the next mm -hmm. balloon. So the time complexity dominating by this um. one and log n. And this is just O n. Oh. So it's O n log n plus n. But it's dominating by this one. So we drop the trivial part. Okay. Okay, so what have you learned today? Balloons. Right, yes, yes, exactly. Okay, okay, that's it for today. Bye bye. Bye. bye.